My name is Robbie Mitrani, and the company I work for is Sterling Studios, located in Dania Beach, Florida. Uh, we currently have about six people full time on staff, but we do we hire about ten to twelve freelancers a week. The film industry brings us quite a bit. Um, it actually we have a few proposals. We're somewhat of a new company, so the exact number is, of course, hopefully always growing. There is a decline not so much in the amount of jobs we do, but the budgets they have. So the revenue is way, way down, um, probably about two thirds of my previous experience in other companies. But the amount of jobs uh, are still being performed for us. Everything from taxes and restaurants and every, everything supporting a community around town benefits from film. There's countless reasons. Um, you know, just for South Florida as a whole, it brings in tourism, it brings in international programming who wants to be here. We, as Americans, have a film industry that everybody wants to, to follow when they see what is hip, what is new, what's nice, what, what the actors like to do, and they go to those places. It'll assist in the economic recovery in a great way, but it will help in ways such as tourism. Um, that is a big revenue generator for South Florida. Um, for my business, of course, you know, it would help in ways of bringing in freelancers, would no longer be freelancers. We would have full-time staff. Um, there's so many countless ways that that would help us. And, and the companies, the film industry, I don't think will come without those incentives. They've been here, they know what it is to shoot here, but with all the other states giving out the incentives, they're, they're gonna go there because film, just like anything else, is a business. And it only makes sense to go to where you're gonna get the best bang for your buck. The incentives, not only for the film industry, but for television uh, would be huge. I mean, let's call it entertainment. Um, when I first started coming up in this industry, I was producing shows for Colombia, Argentina, everybody shot here. And it's at the time that the film industry was here. It was probably the most popular place to come and shoot in the mid 90s uh, for South America. And the company I worked for at that time was doing over $100 million a year revenue just from uh, productions and it also took the production people here and they started using them in South America. So it was a, a big, big thing um, and it's something that needs to be done again because people want to come to Miami. They just don't want to have to spend an arm and a leg because, of course, our industry is something you don't know if the project works until it gets on air distribution. So I think we need these incentives to get the people in, have them do their projects here, and reality of our industry is maybe two out of ten projects work, but we need those two projects here.